Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to get slightly better performance out of PUBG. And there's a couple different ways we're going to do this. First is going to be startup tweaks, and the second is going to be in-game options. So let's go over our setup tweaks first. First, I'm going to go, I'm going to open up Steam, and I'm going to find PUBG. I'm going to hit Properties. I'm then going to go to Set Launch Options, and there's a string of options down in the description you're going to want to copy and paste those in to that box that pops up so the first is use available cores and this basically makes it so that PUBG will use all the available cores or have all those available cores assigned to it in your processor and for some people with uh, very large processor setups pretty beefy processors this can increase your performance slightly next the next one is malloc equals system. This basically tells PUBG that it can use all the memory that you have allocated to the OS for the game. So this can increase, if you have a lot of RAM, this can increase the game's uh, available RAM and hopefully make it run a little bit more smoothly. The next option is uh, dash low memory. And this one is not necessarily included uh, in the settings below. This is for people that have 8 gigabits or less of memory. You might see an improvement. That will also be down in the description below. And the last one is SM4. Uh, this switches the graphics from DirectX 11 to DirectX 10. This will only improve your performance if you're running on a older PC. And it is also, again, in the description. Okay, next we're going to go over the in-game graphics settings. Just some tweaks you can do to get the best possible performance. So this is what I have. I have screen scale 100. I have my FOV to maximum. I have anti-aliasing to high. Post-processing to very low. For whatever reason, post-processing causes stuttering on my system, even though my system is pretty beefy. Next up, I have shadows very low, texture very low, effect very low, vegetation very low. These are for pretty obvious reasons. All of those things have pretty heavy uh, graphical and performance hits. Next, show distance to ultra. You can obviously tweak that down uh, if you need to, but I would try to keep that one as high as you can just for a competitive edge. And then lastly, I have motion blur set to none. So the big ones here are shadows. Shadows, post-processing, and motion blur are big resource hogs. So if you have to choose any settings to tone down, I would recommend you tone the, down those settings first because that's going to give you your biggest performance gains by tweaking those down. But as always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I hope you get some more frames in this uh, terribly optimized game. See you next time.